Hi, Gemini. It's Athena. Welcome to February 2022. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, okay? Before I begin, oh my God, I've missed you. More than you can ever imagine. I am still searching for a place to land in Chicago and um, we'll see. So for the mean, in the meantime, so for now, just bear with me in my situation here. Okay, let's get started. Gemini, how is everyone? Happy Valentine's Day to those who are celebrating. The Hermit, some of you have been really working hard on yourself, inner work, doing the inner work, yeah? Climbing that mountain, finding the wisdom and the strength, right? The test of time, the guru, the sage. Seeing the light of a new day Seeking your own inner guidance and not someone else's. You've been working hard on yourself, Gemini. This is putting it in the hard work. This is the journaling, the meditations, the, the inner silence and peace that comes with the hermit. No need to speak about it. It's an inner journey that's one that is unspoken. It is. Wow, the angels, spirit guides. Oh my goodness, look at who's, I mean, seriously, look. Taking this time for yourself. Seriously, taking this time for yourself. I'm using, this is the gilded, sorry, Gilded Tarot Royale, okay? And then for more of the narrative, I'm going to use the Light Sears. Okay, so Gemini, holy cow. Working so hard on yourself, as above, so below. You're, you, have, you have a very close connection to spirit. Spirit guides, your Heavenly Father, who's saying hard work that you put in on yourself is going to pay off, right? Your inner journey, the light that you seek within is not without. The energy of water and fire, the ribbons or the sheaths of ribbons around the body of all the chakras, op the chakras opening up to spirit. So this, without question, is ascension of a higher consciousness. I'm so sorry. I have to, sorry. I'm really trying here to, I have a small little thing going on here. This area for my cards. I'm sorry. Okay. The full moon coming in February shows us that you're going to learn, some of you, okay? Some of you are going to learn how to manipulate energy. Some of you are learning how to manipulate the energy that flows within. You're getting guidance from a sage, your mentor. Who is your mentor? Who do you listen to? I mean, I'm talking about an inner, you know, the Dalai Lama, right? God bless. There has been a time, there has been a time where 
you were worried that you weren't going to achieve this feat, so to speak, of the blessings that come with, right, with the knowledge. I think that maybe it was just you weren't sure that it was actually going to happen, right? Because when you're working, when you're working on yourself, sorry, when you're working on yourself, it's not, it's something that you write about. It's definitely something that you write about, but it's not something that you speak about. It's an inner, the inner workings of one's own self. And the attainment, um, a heavenly father, your heavenly father, if on the other side, and or heavenly mother on the other side is definitely working together with you to, to get through whatever you're getting through to work on yourself, right? Okay. It's beautiful, Gemini. I mean, the best part at this moment in time, the present moment that we have here is that you are emotionally and emotionally, spiritually working on yourself. You're doing the work. And are you kidding me? When you do the work, magic happens. I mean, that's the way it is. Where there has been moments through your journey, right? Out of the eight of pentacles, five of those pentacles were maybe five weeks, five months of torture. I'm not saying literal torture, but can I get through that keyhole? Can I make it? Questioning, how am I going to get through this to the light, to see the light, to be the light, to know? Not to question. The quest is an inner journey of knowing, not of the ego, not of a sword, but of the heart. And I think on in the stage, like you can see, it looks like a stage, but it's a door. And she is not sure, she's unsure if she can make it through the next five, whatever, five weeks, five months that you've been going through this. Could even be five years. I mean, for everyone, it's different. Everyone's journey is different, but when you do the work, you're going to make it through that keyhole. So for those of you who are still struggling to get through the hardest part, which is this. That's the hardest part. Keep going. Keep going. Five is change. The tower reversed. I'm telling you, you're thinking, I don't know if I'm going to make it without something else happening with, you know, it's like, it's like you, you see all these changes in your life, Gemini, and you're saying, I don't know if I can make it through this transformation. It's really hard. It's a change of everything. Everything changes with fives. We know that. And then you have a 10, which is two fives. So in essence, you have three fives here, which is complete change, lifestyle change, perspective change, heart change, spiritual change. Being gifted these beautiful treasures right here. Look, these are beautiful inner treasures that you're working on. They're within. They're within this keyhole that you're looking for. You're at the five, or you have five more to go. It depends on where you're at in your journey, right? And you're like, okay, so how much more can one take? Seriously. 
And I can tell you that that certainly does apply to me. Queen of Wands. So you keep going. Queen of Wands is a Leo Aries Sag. Yes, you could have that in your chart as well. But this Queen of Wands is you also. Showing you how to manipulate the energy. Look it. You're being shown how to manipulate energy. Here. And here. As above, so below. That's what you're going to be starting to do in February, or it is now literally on the table. Manipulation of energy, the passion, right? How to finding maybe someone who shows you the way to do that, a father figure, gaining knowledge, reading, Whatever this Eight of Pentacles is, whatever you're working on. So what is the purpose of manipulation of energy? Okay, so let me give you an example. It's the yin and yang. It's the energy as above, so below, meaning learning how the energy affects your body to clear it and to ascend through it. So let's just say you have a fight with someone and you're angry and the anger shows up in your sacral chakra. It goes base chakra, then sacral, then solar. So you're, you know that you're angry. So you have a choice on how to handle that energy of anger, right? What's the choice? Well, I could either just work through it. How do you work through that energy? Well, you get mad, <laughs> right? You get mad. You, you... You express, even though we don't have any swords here, we need to learn. You're learning here. You're experiencing. This reading is about you experiencing life. This is all life experience here. All right? And you're being shown the way on how to manipulate energy. Here it is. Okay? Okay? How to get through that keyhole. I told you that's the most important part of this entire reading is this keyhole. Because I don't know you're feeling like I don't know if I can make it. You're being guided to make it, to learn about it, to read about it, to study. So getting back to the anger, you have to show up, show up that anger. How do we do it without hurting someone else's feelings? Because that's the mere reflection of whom is getting us angry. It's not, this is a hypothetical. It's not someone who we want to lash out because then we're just, it's gonna come back. That mirror reflects back. So we don't wanna manipulate the energy of anger. We don't wanna lash out because it's gonna come back to you, is what I'm saying. That's the reflection. So instead of lashing out, as a sage, as a wise one would do is, well, what is this teaching me? Let's get grounded. Instead of putting in tower moments in the energy of obstruction and demolition and ruining your own self-worth by lashing out to another getting through the keyhole is about sorry is about taking that anger and asking spirit and asking your guides your spirit guides to show you to show you 
how can I work with this anger through me instead of giving it to another who's the illusion of self? Let me ask the question instead. What is this about? How can I learn from this situation? What do I need to take as a learning? What is this teaching me? What is it showing me? So you're being guided by spirit and spirit guides to manipulate, to learn how to manipulate and deal with your anger in a way that is not destructive, but constructive. Okay, it's beautiful. Remember this, not just for the month of February, but remember how this reading is so important for you to be encouraged to ask the question of the quest of life. The quest is the question that needs not to be asked, but to be lived. I send you so much love and light. And if you need me, I'm here. Take care.